Without child here? How do you plan on distracting me? <sighs> Winnie, how did everything go? Well, long story short, we ran into a small issue. Claire V can't go into the sunlight. Dlaczego? Co się stało? Everything was fine at first. She followed me up to the surface just like I told her. But as I let her out of the shadows and into the sunlight, she vanished. I turned around and there she was, standing at the edge of the shadows, silently watching me. Huh. Maybe she's afraid of sunlight, or... No, it wouldn't be her wish if that were the case. Hmm. Well, we could always try... Pushing her into it? Oh, true. I've pretty much tried it all already. Nothing worked. Eventually, the sun went down, so all I could do was bring her back here. How did it go with you, Lynette? Good. I've got the list. It's right here. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look! Oh, that's a lot of pages! Oh, it's gonna take forever to get through it all. We can each take a section. Here. Okay. Pouillard, Landois, Jean-Bel, Aurère. Yeah, nie interesuje nas to. Oh, yikes. That Aurère guy has a huge scar on his face. He's kind of giving Pime on the creeps. Ah, I've met him before. The scar is from an injury he received during a mission. <laughs> I still remember him joking with me about it. He said any future lover would take one look at him and then lose all interest. Did he say anything else? Well, I asked if there was someone he was interested in. He said no, and that's where our conversation ended. It was only later that I learned he really did have someone he liked. He risked everything to escape so he could be with her, but... <sighs> it didn't work. One day, father asked to see him, and, well, I never saw him again after that. Oj, 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 czyli nie, DNA w zostawiła niektóre praktyki chyba. Wait, so that means the knave, she... It may seem cruel, but it's just one of the rules of the house. The trail is not to be taken lightly. We know too many secrets to come and go as we please. So, if you do try to leave... You pay with your life. No, niestety, ta lojalność ponad wszystko, jednak mimo wszystko została. Her name's not here, huh? Well, that's not too surprising. It doesn't seem like this list is complete. It only contains records dating back around five years. Let's shift our attention then. Fremenay, were you able to find anything out? <sighs> Fremenay. Uh, uh, sorry. I was thinking about something. Yet there. I managed to talk to quite a few people, but I couldn't help but notice that the atmosphere in the house was a little strange. Do you atmosphere? Huh? Yeah. I mean, I know there have been arguments in the past, times when people haven't gotten along. Chaplo and Filial are a good example of that. Oh, those are two of the people that we met while delivering supplies. Paimon can see how they might not get along. They had very different vibes. That's to be expected, actually. Father brought us all here, shared her knowledge with us, taught us how to fight. That's one thing we all share. But that's also where the similarities end. Not all of us feel the same desire to stay here. As members of the House of the Hearth, we're also considered part of the Fatui. And to a lot of people, that's an identity they never asked for. Certain members get older and realize they want something else for themselves. But considering the rules of the house, most people would never say that out loud. People like Chaplot and Foltz are loyal to Father and her vision. They're proud to be part of the Fatui. Filial and Nantoy, on the other hand, well, they aren't quite as enthusiastic. These kinds of conflicts have always been there 
It's not like Father is in the dark about any of this. Well, that's true. But it just feels like things have gotten worse lately. Filial and the others... It seemed like they were meeting in secret to talk about something. I can't say for sure, but I think they've met Claire V. You think she's been inciting them to act out? No, not exactly. But I wouldn't be surprised if she said something to them about... the darkness in the house, and how deep it runs. She's told me about it before. Experiments being run on children. People being used as pawns on the battlefield without so much as the strength to survive. Oh, yeah, Peter, Peter. You just believed all that? Without any evidence? Claire V's words probably gave them the excuse they were looking for. Whether they actually believe them to be true is secondary. <sighs> this is all because of Project Stuja, isn't it? What is this project? Oh, hold on a second. What's this Project Stuja all about, huh? This is the second time it's come up now. Thank you, Emma. Sorry, but I'm not sure of the details either. I only know what Father has told us, which is that it's something the Rooster and Regrader have been working on together. Apparently, it has to do with the Fatui's strategic plan for the future. Hey, your plan for the future for Fatui? Was so successful in obtaining the Nos. Wait, but isn't that a good thing? Or the Pomina, please. Just another way of saying dangerous role. To us, the whole thing is an inconvenience. Father thinks so too, but she's in no position to refuse. Their plan isn't exactly unreasonable, and they've been funneling the house a lot of funding. Hey, hey. It's just that we'll lose a lot of members in the process. Participating in the plan, it's an honor in name only. What they're really trying to do is subdue us. The existence of an intelligence organization outside their control makes them feel uneasy. Oj, oj, oj. Na pewno coś z tego się wywiąże, jakiś konflikt w środku Fatui, jeśli chodzi o Dom Sers. Kto wie, może Adlecz nie od nich odwróci. Teoretycznie już się raz odwróci, a mam nadzieję, że nie zrobi to drugi raz. Nie mogą się dać złapać w ten projekt. Okay, super complicated top secret Fatui business aside. What does all of this have to do with the conflicts you were talking about earlier? Bimek doesn't get the connection. External pressure has a way of exacerbating internal strife. You can't overlook the power of fear either. People are afraid of dying. And that fear is often the impetus for a lot of stupid decisions. I thought resolving the Clairvy situation would make everything go back to normal. But it looks like things are more complicated than I thought. If we leave Filial and the others to their own devices, sooner or later, Father will be forced to take action. We can only focus on one situation at a time, brother. You're right. Even if we confront Filial and the others, it won't do any good. It might even make matters worse. We should focus on Clairvy for now. Well, it's getting late. We should head back and get some rest. Lynette, you stick with me this time. Fremenay, keep a close eye on Filial and the others. Make sure they don't do anything they'll regret. Good work today, everyone. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Urde, ma, co tu się dzieje w tym kwestie? Są naprawdę mroczne tematy. Looking forward to an early night, but she can't sleep at all. I, uh, hey, you don't think the knave will be too angry with Linny and everyone if she finds out about all this, do you? The beam machine. She's even scary when she smiles. If she were to actually get angry, Ooh, you have to protect Paimon if that happens, okay, traveler? Ah, <sighs> trust is ever traveler. Was no more than big hour. Zaraz nam znajdzie. No to mamy, jesteśmy w dupie. Jak ona na takim polu się przebiega, to na pewno Naivsa zauważy. Już stąd mogą ją wszyscy zobaczyć, bez kitu. No i ma rzucający się kolor włosów. 
taka dna i jak się ją zobaczy, no to cóż. Jakby to wam powiedzieć. Od razu się na nią rzuci. Może nie tyle rzuci, to po prostu podbiegnie zobaczyć o co chodzi. No, delikatnie mówiąc tak. Co co, wspinaczka? Ty tyry, ty tyry. Okej. Dlaczego nie chodzisz po słońcu? I think you might regret that decision. Everyone in this family is nothing more than a tool. Something to be used and exploited. We're all expendable. Including me. As long as you're useful, you get to stick around. Lose your value. You're handed over to the doctor. Experimented on. And given a fate worse than death. I've seen it happen again and again. I've had enough. Oh, yeah, pierdzie. A może te bandaże na ręce i noce, na kolanie, co widzieliśmy w tym wideo promocjonalnym, nie były po walkach z innymi dziećmi, tylko po tych eksperymentach doktora. Jezu, co jeszcze gorzej. O Boże. You're saying the knave did all that? It's just that doesn't seem like something she would do. She's scary and all, but it seems like even she has lines she wouldn't cross. Ona mówi o innej knave. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Everyone thinks she's a good person. They all think of her like a real mother. Mother? But she doesn't deserve that title. She's disgraced it and tarnished it. And if I had things my way, I'd never see her again. If only Perry were here, she'd understand. Perry? There's that name again. Also, Paimon's getting a strange feeling. It almost feels like she's not really here with us. Paimon can't tell if she's actually talking to us or if she's mistaken us for someone else. Hmm. Well, in any case, it seems like she really needs someone to talk to. We should keep her company for a little longer. She looks so young. But it seems like she's been through a lot. <sighs> it's getting windy. I should close the window. Ooh, look at the moon! Isn't it pretty? Hey, wanna hear a secret? I heard that if you look up at the night sky in Shnezhnaya, you can see the aurora. It's supposed to be super pretty. Even prettier than the moon tonight. Perry and I promised each other that once we're older, we're gonna go see it together. But I can't find her. I'm worried she's also been... No, that wouldn't happen to her. She's special. Mother likes her a lot. I should really go talk to Mother, but we just fought. She doesn't want to see me, and I'm too scared to face her. Oh nie. What should I do? Czy to nie była ich pierwsza walka między sobą? really doesn't understand what's going on with her. Well, let's head back. We've got an early morning tomorrow. A dziewczynka jakby cały czas żyje w momencie, kiedy działał stary dom serc, nie? Kiedy tam te dzieci jeszcze wszystkie żyły, nie? Straszne. Oh? What is it? What makes you ask that? Well, we kind of ran into Clairview last night and that's what she told us. We met the doctor back in Sumeru. He's super dangerous. 
And he's done all sorts of bad things. It's possible that Father and the Doctor have had certain dealings, but I don't think Father would work with him. We're not really on the same side, so there's not a lot of trust between them. That doesn't exactly set the stage for a successful partnership. I did hear, though, that when Father first became a Harbinger, the Doctor offered to work with the House of the Hearth. Father rejected most of his proposals, except for one. It had to do with some sort of secret experiment. Secret experiment? Czyli była jakaś współpraca. A to dalej troszeczkę źle łączą kropki. Niestety ta Paimon i Trapeller, ale ciężko ich obwinić, nie? I don't think so. I don't know any details about the experiment itself, but I do know it's an entirely independent operation. The doctor only proposed a direction for the research. That was the extent of his involvement. I still don't think that counts as working together. The details of the experiment are confidential, but complete records are kept on all participants. That doesn't seem to be the case with the situation Clairvy referred to. I know you don't agree with some of the Fatui's methods, and I'm not asking you to. But I am asking you to trust us on this. The House of the Hearth has its own principles. There are certain lines we're not willing to cross. Nie no, spokojnie, nie wierzę ci. Ze względu na Lynette. <sighs> Alright, that's good to hear at least. Clarvy seems to think the Knave and the Doctor worked together to do something horrible. If that turned out to be true, Paimon doesn't know how he would even face you guys. It's just that it doesn't seem like Clarvy is lying either. The easiest thing to do would be just ask the Knave directly, but... Paimon doesn't think she'd tell us. Father didn't come back last night. She's probably still near the shore. We'll be counting on you to distract her. Lynette, you're with me. Fremine, you know what to do. Be on your guard, everyone. All right, let's get to it. Oh, boże. Ja się teraz jej boję. Po prostu. Ale musimy ją jakoś podpytać. Ciekawe, co się stanie, jak zareaguje, gdy powiemy imię Clerby, bo to jest imię, które nikt nie powinien znać normalnie. Jak tylko Paimon palnie coś o Clerby, to teraz połączę kropki, że o, musieliście widzieć ducha. Zajebie was. Tak będzie, mówię wam. Nie wiem, zobaczymy, zobaczymy jak to, co z tego wyniknie. Wszystko. Oh, it's you two again. I must say, you look a bit pale. Did you have trouble sleeping last night? Uh, a little. Perhaps if you had less on your mind, you'd be able to absolve yourself of such troubles. So what are you planning to do now? Catch up on some sleep? Or should I give you some time to rack your brain for a topic to discuss before I ask any questions? Although I must profess to being curious. Without child here, how do you plan on distracting me? <sighs> Ona już wie. Ja pierdzielę. O oh, fuck, jesteśmy w dupie. <laughs> A to, to było oczywiste, że ona coś wiedziała. No to... Błagam was, kurde, przez środek całej kryjówki piekaliśmy za duszkiem dziewczynki, która ona znała w dzieciństwie, więc czego się mogliśmy spodziewać? Paimon, spierdalaj sąd. Looks like you could have used some extra time to think. No matter. If you don't have any other plans, why don't you accompany me somewhere? Czy to był taki drobny żarcik z tej strony? Chyba. Nie wiem. I'll be sure to steer clear of any scheming children. No kurde. The ocean breeze is sure nice today. Children always think they can hide things from the grown-ups. But nothing gets past me. Least of all a little scheming. I think I'll let them have at it for a little longer. I can be very patient. Well. I'll leave you to think things over. If you're so inclined, meet me outside the Palais Marmonia. O kurde. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. If only for your friends' sakes. O ja pierdziele. What should we do? Nie, nie wierzę, że ona mogłaby ich zabić tak po prostu. 
She clearly knows about everything we've been doing, and Paimon doesn't think it'd be a stretch to say she. Zwłaszcza że Lynette czy Fremenet czy Lyny są najbardziej zdolnymi dziećmi w tej małej organizacji, no co by nie było. Mam nadzieję, że jest dla nich jakaś sympatia. Od. Oh, good idea. Hopefully he sees it in time. Ok, ptaszek się tak przydał. Paimon doesn't want to find out what happens if we don't show up. Based on what the knave was saying just now, it sure didn't seem like it'd be anything good. Oh, yeah. Okay, then we probably shouldn't keep her waiting. It seems like Lenny and the others are on thin ice, so let's do our best to not get them in any more trouble. No, quest zaczyna przybierać ciekawe obroty, nie? Ja już się kurde boję, powiem wam. I to tak fest. Oho. Time before my meeting. We might as well enjoy some pleasant conversation while we wait. I'm glad to see you get along with my children. Being surrounded by good companions is necessary for a child's development. You're not planning on doing anything to them, are you? I assume you're referring to Lenny, Lynette, and Fremine. Although, there's that situation with Filial and Nentoy as well. Hmm. <sighs> It appears quite a few people have been acting out lately. Oh, cool. The match on our first game. I'm not one to discriminate. All those who betray the house meet the same fate. There are no exceptions. Urba match. Does that mean you're going to kill them? Oh, are you here to beg for their lives? I'm sorry to disappoint, but the rules of the house change for no one. In my organization, everyone is responsible for their own actions. Urba match of two peso. Any organization in which feelings come before principles is one destined for ruin. The House of the Hearth is hardly an exception. You could say our principles are more stringent than most. Perhaps I can offer you this consolation at least. As our guests, you two will not be held accountable along with them. I would imagine Lini, Lynette, and Fremine will be able to keep their lives. As for Filial, Nantoy, and the others, I'm afraid there's little I can do. They can try to escape, but once you know our secrets, there's no getting out alive. But... but that's... that's... that's awful! Ah, oh, you seem concerned. Out of consideration for my guests, I suppose I could turn a blind eye for a little longer. If Linny and the others manage to dispose of Claire V in the meantime, all evidence of their wrongdoing will be lost. In that case, I could hardly punish them for something I couldn't prove. Oh. If their efforts are unsuccessful, on the other hand, all will be held accountable, and the punishment will be severe. Okay, czyli zostawia lukę. Of course. Oh, and here, I believe this belongs to you. Do try and keep better track of it next time. O kurwa mać, jak ona jest dobra. Considerable amount of time to train a bird like this. It would be such a pity if you were to lose it permanently. Pierdzielona. To słów nie wznią się nie można cackać na żadnym polu. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have to chat. Now, for the matter at hand, I asked you to meet me here because I have business at the Palais Mermonia. It has nothing to do with you. But I think it would be prudent for you to stick by my side for the time being. There will always be time later to run off and tell Linny what you've learned. Well, time to go. Looks like we wrapped things up, Justin. Kurde, ma, jesteśmy w dupie. I to tak głęboko, ale przynajmniej zostawia nam lukę, więc nie jest tak źle. Ale ciekawe tylko, czy Linny się podda. I faktycznie. Zagra tak jak Nave nam. Zatańczy tak jak Gnave nam zagra. Bo jakby nie było, cały czas jesteśmy podani na tacy. Mimo wszystko, ochronę wyjadę kolejne spotkanie. Jak miło. It's been a while, Monsieur Nevelet. I must say, I wasn't expecting my meeting request to be approved quite so quickly. The Palais Mermonia operates with an efficiency worthy of admiration. It is only right that an esteemed diplomat such as yourself should be afforded the proper level of respect. Although, if I may speak plainly, 
I must confess that I did not anticipate we would have the occasion to meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. I see you brought the Traveler and Paimon with you as well. If I may inquire as to the purpose of your visit... I'll be departing Fontaine shortly. There is, however, an outstanding matter that I would like to see resolved before I go. It requires a rather lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. So I took the liberty of explaining everything in this proposal. Please review it at your leisure, Monsieur Nervelet. Co? Co? Co ci dała? U, szybki jest. Furyna tu była, chociaż nie. I understand your request. However, at the risk of causing offense, I must admit that I fail to see why you would wish for such a thing. I heard you have a certain fondness for water tasting, Monsieur Nervelet. So allow me to use water as an analogy. A family is like a large body of water with countless rivers flowing in and out. As someone who watches over this system, I would hope that each river that flows from the source will eventually reach the ocean. Of course, objectively speaking, I know this is impossible. Most of the rivers will dry up along the way disappearing into the ground and leaving nothing but a barren riverbed behind. Not all rivers are destined to reach the ocean, but I would not see their existence rendered meaningless. I believe the water that flows within them is simply meant for a different destination, like a field in need of irrigation, or perhaps the glass of a certain water-tasting enthusiast. Um, did you get any of that, Traveler? Uh... Poniekąd ona się odniosła do analogii, jeśli chodzi o House of the Heart. Czyli no cóż, nie ma stąd wyjścia, nie każda rzeka musi dotrzeć do oceanu. Ups. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. It may have been tainted at one point in time, but not to worry. I'll make sure it's strained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Hmm. I seem to recall there being a transactional aspect to your proposal. Perhaps you could expound on that? If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, I will gradually withdraw my forces from Fontaine. Ooh, 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 ciekawie. And, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. No, technicznie rzecz biorąc, na tak czasie, jak to było do przewidzenia, że się wycofa, bo w końcu... Główny cel, czyli Gnoza, została odebrana, więc po cholerę miałaby się tutaj ponosić w Fontaine, nie? Teraz mogą się skupić na projekcie Stuża, którym mam nadzieję przeszkodzimy, czymkolwiek by nie był. My deepest condolences to his family, but without any evidence, I cannot imagine how the House of the Hearth might have been involved in his passing. So. Of course, if you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nervelet, I'm sure certain measures could be taken to reduce the frequency of such troubles. You choose your words carefully, indeed. In that case, I am inclined to accept your proposal. My thanks for your generosity, Monsieur Nervelet. With that settled, we should be going now. I took the liberty of bringing along two bottles of spring water from Snezhnaya for you to enjoy. I do hope I get the chance to hear your impressions. Perhaps at our next meeting, yes? Indeed. I trust you would not overlook your commitment in the meantime. All right, Traveler Paimon. Time to go. Okay. Oj, Boże. Co jak co, ale ona jest naprawdę królową... Wszystkiego. <laughs> Dyplomacji szczególnie. I believe I've told you before that my emotions easily resonate with those of others. Yet in the few meetings I've had with that harbinger, I haven't been able to sense any aspect of her emotional state. Her mind is like a still body of water. Who knows what darkness lies in its depths, and the lack of ripples on the surface gives nothing away. It's unclear whether this is her natural state of being, or whether it's an incredible strength of will that gives her the ability to master her emotions. 
Either scenario, however, suggests she is a very dangerous individual. I do not expect an explanation as to why you two are by her side. Whatever your reasoning, I would only advise you to take caution. Oj, dzięki, stare dzięki. No, ona jest dosyć niebezpieczna, o Jezu. Dosłownie tańczymy tak, jak nam zagra, tak jak wspomniałem. Nie pozostawia nam żadnego wyjścia tak naprawdę, no kurde. Zajebie nas ta laska. Szalona baba. Kobiety są niebezpieczne. So, uh, what exactly were you talking about back there? Paimon only heard you mention some rivers, a large body of water, and then some kind of irrigation scheme. You really want to know? I would imagine there might be more pressing concerns at the moment. Ona tak specjalnie szyfrem gadała, żebyśmy nie zaczęli je wszystkiego od razu. Okej, okay, niby jak ją możemy zatrzymać, nie? Wspomniałem o imieniu. Oj, za szybko te dialogi idą. O cholera. Oh shoot. Are you all right? Oh jeez, I'm so sorry. I was so focused on selling these papers. I wasn't looking where I was going. Well, let me make it up to you at least. Here, take this paper. On the house. O ma tą bliznę przecież, halo. Oh, you don't have to give us anything. Please, I want to. It's not like I'm short on supply. All the extras will be useless come tomorrow anyway. It's my fault, really. I was just trying to family, but I bit off more than I can chew. I haven't had many takers today, so I'm still swimming in papers. What's going on here? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I just ran into your friend here on accident. I should probably get going, actually. Hold on. Oi, oi, oi. Of course, I'm happy to compensate you with Mora. It's just I don't have any on me at the moment. I'll take three papers. Here, your payment. Oh, thank you for your patronage. May the Archons bless you with good fortune. If only I had the chance to run into such generous customers every day. <laughs> I should probably just take on a smaller inventory, though, right? I'm getting married soon, so sometimes it's hard to not get ahead of myself. Anyway, I should head out. Goodbye. Well, now that my affairs are settled, we should take the boat back to Poisson. We've even acquired some light reading to enjoy. Actually, why don't we uh, stick around for a little longer? Paimon just realized how hungry she is. She can't head back to Poisson on an empty stomach. Okay, kupuję więcej czasu. It appears you two are under the impression that delaying our return will somehow alter the situation in your favor. I'm sorry to ruin your fantasy, but your efforts are meaningless. Okay, Knaif za wszystkiego zdaje sobie sprawę. Ja pierdziela nas przerażająco. That being said, I could be persuaded to give Linny some extra time. I just have one condition. If you agree to my request, I'll even answer some of your questions. You're quite curious about Claire V, are you not? And my relationship. Oh, tak. Poproszę. Wait. Why are you being so generous all of a sudden? You're not gonna ask us to do something bad, are you? You overestimate yourself. You don't have the talent for bad things. Uh, then what can you possibly? The most important consideration in a negotiation is that both sides receive something they want. Demands and threats only get you so far. Wonderful. Here it is. When the time comes, make the choice that you deem most appropriate in the situation, and lend your help to the House of the Hearth. Okay. Sounds normal enough. But what do you mean, when the time comes? When is that supposed to be? That is for you to decide. Then we have a deal. Follow me. Okej. Okay. Nie bez powodu jesteśmy gościem. 
Neiva. Ona coś planuje. Oho, już idziemy w pewnym ciekawym kierunku. O oh, fuck. Ja się boję. Ja się jej boję. Ale z drugiej strony też dusza gracza Soulsów mnie wyzywa i czekam na wyzwanie. Jestem ciekaw jak wypada jej boss. Jej weekly boss. Okej, okay, co to za miejsce? Co się tutaj dzieje? Co się tu wyprawia? What is this place? Tu tutaj było kiedyś to stare House of the Hearth. Somewhere long forgotten by everyone. It used to be a grand building. Now it's nothing more than a pile of rubble. No one comes here anymore. Nor does anyone care about what once happened here. Although, this place does have something to do with the story I'm about to tell you. Uh -huh. It was before I became a harbinger. And before Linny and the others joined the House of the Hearth. Due to certain events, I first killed Clairvy and then her mother. And this is where it all happened. Oh, kurde, tak prosto z mostu. You were the one that killed Clairvy? Patience now. Allow me to explain Clairvy's side of the story first. I'll start from the beginning. No, oh, kurde. Oh, aż by się zimno zrobiło. Clairvy was six years old when she was brought by her mother, Crucibina, to live in the house of the hearth. From the outside, it seemed like a fairy tale. A thriving family made up of kind adults and friendly children. Ty czekajcie, to są modele 3D, dobrze myślę? Czy bardzo dobrze narysowane wersje 2D? Kurde, oni mają... O ja pierdziele. Crucibina was the knave at that time. And the house of the hearth was under her control. She was Clairvy's mother by blood. But she was also the mother to all the children in the house. Okay, to już też wiemy. Clairvy was happy here. For a time. But she quickly realized that being part of this family wasn't a fairy tale at all. It was a kind of purgatory. Purgatory? Exactly. The House of the Hearth takes in war orphans from all over to Vat. But as for how to raise them, that depends entirely on the person in charge. Crucibina came up with a novel idea. She would teach the children to fight. Force them to duel each other, and then crown as the king of the house the child who proved themselves most worthy of inheriting her title. To też wiemy z tego filmu. It's difficult to estimate the number of children who died or were maimed in the process. There's little I can say about the ones who died. The ones that emerged with permanent injuries, on the other hand, well, they still served a purpose. They would be handed over to the doctor to be experimented on, or sent away on dangerous missions. Nothing more than tools to be used and then discarded. Yeah, Pierciel. So those were the experiments Clairvy was talking about. But what actually happened to her? You said that Clairvy was Crucibina's daughter, so if Clairvy tried to convince her to stop what she was doing, Crucibina probably would have listened, right? Yeah. Despite being Clairvy's mother, Crucibina cared little for her daughter. She forced Clairvy to join the House of the Hearth only as a means to demonstrate her own impartiality as a mother. To prove that she treated all her children equally. Mm. Clairvy did try to convince her mother to change her ways, but it was to no avail. After her efforts failed, the only other option was to rise up and try to fight back. Unfortunately, the other children had already been thoroughly indoctrinated into the illusion of happiness Crucibina had created. Ja, pierdziele, to za suka. Of course, there was one exception. Someone Clairvy's age, who knew the truth about the House of the Hearth. Her name was Peruere. A Peruera, nie Peri. Wait, the friend that Clairvy mentioned? Friend, huh? I suppose we can call her that for now. Clairvy was a cheerful and passionate person with a tenacious spirit. Peruere, on the other hand, was rather cold-blooded. Her cold-blooded nature allowed her to see through Crucibina's facade. Yet, 
It was also this cold-bloodedness that prevented her from acting against it. At least at first. While Clairvy longed for freedom, Peruware was convinced that, amid all the fighting and violence, she would make it until the end. Despite their differences, the two became fast friends, united by their knowledge of the truth. Clairvy told Peruware that she hoped to create a real family, where no one would be killed or sacrificed. There may have been a certain naivete to her ideas, but Clairvy proved her determination many times over. She tried countless times to run away, ask for help, or expose the truth. But her efforts only earned her beating after beating. Oi, oi, oi. The only thing that kept her going was her strength of will. Even with her body racked with pain, she would still stand on her tiptoes and open the window at night. She and Peruere would look out at the moon together, a fierce longing for freedom shining in her eyes. But one day, that light simply vanished. Oh no. What happened? Her hopelessness resulted from a culmination of things. Ten years had passed. Ten years worth of failure after failure. She and Peruere weren't children anymore, but finding any chance to escape still seemed as hopeless as ever. It was during this time that Peruere suggested a new plan. If escaping was out of the question, why not take down the very person sitting on top of this throne of lies? Mother herself. Oh. Clairvy rejected that proposal. She claimed that as a famous harbinger, Crucibina possessed an unimaginable amount of power. Trying to kill her would have an incredibly low chance of success. Na koniec końców się Peruer to udało, więc... Mm. Clairvy never gave another reason, but Peruer could see it written all over her face. Clairvy still thought of Crucibina as her mother. Killing her own flesh and blood was a line she couldn't bring herself to cross. Szkoda. If she couldn't escape and fight back, then only one option remained. Precisely. Death was the only way that she felt she could be free. Smutna. What happened during a duel? When she arrived at the dueling ring that day, her partner turned out to be none other than Peruere. The very person that had stood by her side all those years. It was a fierce battle. But ultimately, Clairvy decided to let Peruere end her life. No, nie. Co na włócznią walczyła? Clairvy. Peruere's journey was one written in flames. When the rain finally came and washed it all away, there she stood. The sole victor in Mother's endless game of slaughter. A trail of corpses strewn across her path to success. It was the very result she had predicted ten years prior. Even then, she believed she would make it until the end. She wasn't surprised by the fact that she emerged as Mother's undisputed heir. Rather, her success left her with an inexplicable sense of restlessness. She was unsettled. And there was only one thing that could quell that sensation. Perhaps you two would like to take a guess as to what it was? Mm. Who's Sabina, you mean? But... But... Correct. This is the place where Peruere killed her best friend. A mere year later, this is also the place where she fought tooth and nail to kill the mother they shared. The moment she acted, any conception of what was right or wrong ceased to matter. It's one of the principles of the house. Only those who survive get to write the rule. Peruere won the battle and became a harbinger herself. After which her majesty, the Tsaritsa, bestowed upon her a new name. Arlecchino. Okay, teraz w tym momencie Traveler włączy wszystkie kropki. So the Perry Clairvy was talking about... It was you all along. Your Perry Arlecchino. I left that name behind long ago. I must say, hearing it now does bring back memories. After I defeated Crucibina, 
The moniker of Mother died with her. I chose to forego the title she called herself and even chose to give up my own name. I rebuilt the House of the Hearth under a new identity. Not only as Arlecchino, but as father. Mm -hmm. And that is where the story ends. Any more questions? Puh, to nie źle, co? Yeah. Based on what you just told us, Clairvy wasn't a little kid when she was killed. So the Clairvy we met. Was she really a spirit at all? I suppose you could call her an illusion born of flame. Her existence is like ashes to a fire. Something left over in the wake of blaze and ruin. You see, a certain power runs through my veins. It's not unlike a curse. My flames leave behind shadows of anything they consume. Uh -huh. Of course. The chances of those shadows morphing into a sentient entity are exceedingly slim. Claire V is a very special case. Oh, cool, the she was 16 years old but what emerged from the flames was her six-year-old self her appearance wasn't the only thing affected most of her memories were lost to the blaze as well memory is a mysterious thing indeed losing a portion of your memories will alter your sense of self lose 10 years worth however and it would be like living in the past like returning to a version of yourself that never grew up. No wonder Paimon got such a weird feeling when we were talking to her. Perhaps I should put it this way. Claire V is someone trapped in time. It may seem like she exists with us in the present, but she truly lives in the confines of her own past. So if all of that is true... Then you must have known about Clairvy for a long time. Indeed. She's a rather volatile and unstable entity. Sometimes she would look after the children. She's even saved some of their lives. But other times, she would hide from me and become obsessed with revealing the truth about the house to anyone who will listen. Oh, cholera. Shadows don't have the capacity to learn or grow. Any new information they encounter is quickly forgotten over time. Your attempts to expose Claire V to sunlight. They failed, yes. The reason is actually quite simple. In Claire V's mind, the house is impossible to escape. And it is this very perception that traps her there. But... No matter. All I have to do is kill her again and all will be resolved. I don't anticipate so much as a single speck of ash will be left behind this time. No, nie. Czemu takie podejście? Paimon can understand why you might want her gone, but isn't there another way? So what if she's trapped in her six-year-old self? She's still your friend. At least talk to her first. It's too late for that. She broke the rules, and now she must be punished. That goes for Filial and Nentoy as well. She said quite the effect on them. I hope you understand. The difference between Crucibina and myself lies in our formulation of the rules, not our policy for enforcing them. Upholding the rules without question is a trait we both share. Because that is how a household should be run. Is this really what you want to do? <sighs> Whatever could you mean? Don't you... Want to say a proper goodbye at least? To prawda. As a killer or as a father, there are two things that must be avoided at all costs: anger and sorrow. No, nie, czemu? Anger makes you impulsive. Sorrow causes you to waver. Well, it appears it's about time to proceed. Before we arrived, I told some of my well-behaved children to bring our troublemakers here by nightfall. I do believe I've kept my end of the deal. I give your friends quite a bit more time. As for what happens now, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, yeah, Pierre. Poważnie, jak to się teraz wywiąże wszystko?